Well, hi everyone. Could I replace all of this, all of these notebooks with this? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Let's find out. I'm going to open this up. So this is the Remarkable Paper Tablet. Better paper, better thinking. I've been told that the unboxing experience is pretty nice, so I definitely wanted to do it with you. There is on the bottom here a little tear here. So let's do that. Done. Little tab comes out here. Oh, that's, that's satisfying. <laughs> okay, let's have a look inside. Oh my goodness, it's beautiful. So this is the Remarkable Paper Tablet. We've got in this side here a welcome pack. So in here we have congratulations on your new Remarkable. Welcome to the Better Thinking community. A growing movement of people committed to finding focus in a distracted world. Now that you have it in your hands, we hope it's another step towards deeper thinking, learning and being in the moment the blank page awaits. So, a quick start guide obviously I'll need and I guess this is the warranty as well so um, I'll put this all back for the moment because it just looks so nice all right so hmm I might just dive straight into the actual tablet we designed remarkable to not get in your brain's way to help you think how cool that it has that on the front and the power's not on um, I wonder if that will go away all right so before I turn it on I'll just say that this is supposed to be the world's thinnest tablet it's very 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 thin <laughs> um, and so minimal right sleek design it's just this screen charging port under here and the power button at the top there so I'm assuming that in here we must have our charging cable. Yeah. So it's a USB-C to USB charging cable. And it's a flat one. Okay, so let's turn this on. Press and hold the power button to get started. Remarkable is starting. Wow, it really does look like paper. Okay, welcome to Remarkable. Express yourself, write, sketch or scribble below. All right, so I might move this to the side because of course I had to have a pen. Um, I had to buy the pen separately, it says tear here. And again, the little tab to pull out the case. And in here is our pen or marker, I guess they're calling it. It does also come with spare tips as well to go inside the pen. So this is the marker. It's not powered at all. It's just simply a, um, an end that writes on the paper uh, and it has an eraser at this end. So this is the Remarkable 2 tablet. There was a Remarkable 1 and um, it had its own marker, which did not have the eraser on the end. So, um, you know, I'm used to drawing on an iPad where you it's quite difficult to put your hand on the screen without causing problems. So. I'm just going to try writing something here. So that was pretty nice and easy to do. I'll hit continue. Okay, so my screen is unique. The canvas display creates a true paper experience. Every now and then your display will refresh itself. Give it a try and see for yourself. And I've seen this happen, um, it goes black and then back again. So like the negative appears and then back to the, back to the white screen. I have, um, a co I have colleagues at work who have um, the Remarkable tablet, uh, about six people, I think, and they are so, so happy with it. So I thought I would definitely jump on board. 
Uh, there's then a setup process, but I, I don't think I want to do that on camera. I will do that later, but I'm just super excited to have this. There's one more thing to show you. So this is the book folio and I got it, as you can see, in the premium leather brown. Um, again, I'll just tear that little piece there, which enables me to pull this tab out. So all of my colleagues at work have the black cover or they've bought a cover online um, from Amazon or wherever. Oh my goodness, this feels so lovely. Um, yeah, that's super nice. So what I thought I'd do today is quite simple. Um, I just wanted to show you the product. Obviously I've just received it. It, it came maybe an hour ago, um, but I've been working, so I haven't been able to get into it yet. So the um, edge of this tablet is magnetic and it just attaches itself by magnet there to the folio. It's um, a soft, almost felt like interior. Actually, it feels like the back of leather, really. And same on this side. And it has these little um, pieces here where your the feet can go into and these little feet stop it from sliding around on the, on the table as well so you can see it just climbs in there and that's not coming out anytime soon um my my manager has one and she said that it doesn't have a like a pen loop or something to magnetize the pen to the holder the pen will magnetize to your remarkable so it will stick out the side there like that but um, that will probably fall off in your bag. I think it's quite, yeah, it's not like super stuck on. So um, that's, I guess, a downside of the folio, not having somewhere to store the pen, but that's okay. I think I will have the pen in my pencil case that I take to work anyway. All right, let's just do some comparisons on size. Currently my work planner is this Hobonichi Cousin, which I'm sure you've seen before. This is an A5 sized book, if you didn't know, and um, this one is housed in the One Piece Thousand Sunny natural leather cover. Just getting a nice few scratches on it from going to work with me. So I'll just place this cover on top of the folio and you can see it's just a bit bigger all round than A5, um, than the A5 cover, I should say. So if we compare it to the actual Hobonichi itself, which is an, an actual A5 book, then you can see it's larger all round, quite a bit larger all round than an A5 book. If we look at just the screen itself, so the writable part is this part here. We've got this um, edge around it that, that, um, that obviously you can't write on. So if we place this here, it's almost A5 sized. So you can see, I just line this up with the front, you've got this much excess here, which is not, not a great deal, maybe about a centimetre bigger than an A5 notebook. So yeah, that's pretty exciting. Um, I'm very excited to have this. Uh, we've been talking about it all week at work. It's, uh, everyone is loving it. So the reason I wanted to grab this is because this is my planner and it will stay my planner, but I'm currently taking notes in this Midori B6 slim lined notebook. I take a lot of notes and I really just can't search them. And at the moment, you know, it's just the beginning of the year. So I still have last year's notebook that I need to refer to. And even I had two notebooks last year. So I'm currently trying to find stuff in three different notebooks. So the beauty of the Remarkable is that you can search your notes. So it can convert your handwriting to text, to printed text, um, and then it becomes searchable. You can also tag various parts of your, of your notes as well. And so if I wanted to tag all of my um, sales team notes or all, of my, or all of my notes for Project A, I can just call them Project A and I'll be able to call them up when I need to. So it's just brand new. I've just received it, as, as I said. It's really lovely. Uh, and yeah, very excited to play around with it. I'm gonna use it for personal and work. 
So for, uh, I'll have, you can set up folders um, just like on your computer. So I'll set up different folders for personal things and for work things and then various folders inside of those, I suspect. My manager uses um, to-do lists and ideas lists and things like that as well. It does have pre-made page layouts as well. So grid and square grid and lined and blank and then all of these others, there's heaps and heaps of them. As I um, figure out how to use it, I'll come back and show you those things. I just would like to set it up myself first and get a good idea of it. I just wanted to show you um, and then it's Friday. So I'll spend the weekend <laughs> playing uh, this and one other piece of tech that has arrived today as well. I'll spend my weekend playing and then I'll be able to report back and let you know how it's working and also give you some demos as well to show you how it works. It's got a number of different pen types. So one nib, but you can make it look like... Um, Pencil, mechanical pencil, ballpoint pen, calligraphy pen, highlighters, markers, those all those kinds of things. So it's like having a whole pencil case in your um, tablet. Uh, there's no color; everything's in grayscale. So black writing, and you can hi and you can highlight. Well, actually, you can write in black, white, or gray, and you can highlight in black, white, and gray. Um, and one of the cool things about this is that it can update to the cloud, send all of your notes to the cloud so that then you're able to share your notes with people from meetings. Um, you can also, you know, then record your notes somewhere. And when you do share it, if you've done any highlighting, that highlighting shows up in different colors. I've seen green and yellow so far. So it does show up on the, on the computer with colors. There's an app you can use as well to control everything. So very excited to get started. Uh, I'm, yeah, super, super keen. Uh, it's going to be good fun. Um, all of my friends at work have been saying to me, but what about all your notebooks? <laughs> so this um, box contains all of my notebooks that I'm using for 2024 in a um, daily or weekly way. I do have a couple of others that are A5 sized that are more for... Um, professional development notes and things like that. It's not going to replace any of these, I don't think. This is all my journaling and tracking and I still absolutely 100% love paper. Um, these ones here are for um, creativity, so painting and stuff like that. So I'm not going to replace any of these as far as I can tell. Let, let's see, but that's not the plan. But it might replace the bigger A5 um, notebooks that I have on my, on my shelf that I had plans to use for personal and professional development reasons, taking notes, watching YouTube videos and in classes and things like that. I think that's probably going to end up in here instead. So I am going to have a lot of fun trying this new toy out. Very exciting. Let's just recap what was in the box. Um, so... Uh, they were all separate. I'll just take this out so we can see the difference. I'll turn it off and see what happens. Turn off. Okay. Okay, so the tablet itself was these two items and uh, they came together in the box. I had to buy the marker separately and the folio separately. I think they've done it that way because people who had the marker from the Remarkable One could keep theirs and just keep using it. This, as far as I know, really only adds the eraser as an option. Um, and you can erase in here um, using gestures and things as well. So it's not super necessary to have this one, but it's the newest one, so I got it. And, and the folio is sold separately so that you can choose whichever one you like. This is the premium leather, as I said. It comes in black and brown leather, and it also comes in a grey weaved fabric. And there's also um, a sleeve that you can just slip it into, and it actually has a pocket for your pen as well. That one was very... I was really tossing up between getting the, the sleeve versus this. Um, I ended up getting this because it's this beautiful brown leather. Uh, that was really the deciding factor was the color. I just think it's gorgeous. So yeah, let's see how we go. Let me know if you're interested to hear how I go with this and if you would ever consider an e-ink tablet, that's what these are called, uh, instead of notebooks. Uh, I know it's crazy 
it's crazy for me, Desley, to be considering not paper because I do love paper so, so much. But at work, I'm super organized at work, except for my notes. I just have a lot of trouble going back and finding things in my notes because I take so many, maybe five or six pages of notes a day. And I'm, I'm moving from meetings with customers to internal meetings, to meetings with vendors, to higher level meetings with our executive team. Uh, I'm working out pricing and calculations. Uh, I'm uh, sorting out to-do lists. I'm men mentoring my team, coaching people. There's so many different aspects of work that at the moment, they're all just kept in one book and well, three books at the moment and not at all searchable. So if I could use sticky notes and things like that, but I don't have time for that. I really I'm don't. usually in six to eight meetings per day, six to eight meetings per day, so many meetings. Uh, so it, there's not much time. You have to just run from one meeting to another. So to be able to tag things and search for things, I think is gonna be a game changer. And that's, that's what the people who have this already at work say. You know, you can see a lot of people online telling you it's great, but to have uh, every single person who has one in my organization telling me they absolutely love it, um, yeah, it was it was not an, not an issue for me. I sent an email one night and said, hey, Remarkable Club, um, do we love it? Because I'm about to buy it. And that was to three people. And each of them said, yes, hell yes, and absolutely. <laughs> So that was that was easy. And then I found out that three other people have them as well. So um, they all said the same thing after I'd pressed the press the buy button. So huge um, support from people who are using it in my immediate vicinity, which is great. Uh, and so I'm super excited to try it out. I just can't wait. Um, I love the concept. The screen just feels so good. It's it's just a tiny bit textured. Um, and it's a very matte feeling, of course. Uh, I think it's great. Uh, it's, it's looking good so far, and I, I just can't wait to really dig into it over the weekend. All right, thanks so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed, and please, yeah, do let me know in the comments um, what do you think about the e-ink tablets. Uh, if you have one, please tell me your story. Um, but if you don't, is it something that you would consider, especially my, my OG planner peeps? <laughs> would you consider moving to digital. I can't believe I'm saying this. It's analog digital though, in my opinion, right? It looks like paper, feels like paper, writes with your own handwriting, like on paper. Um, yeah, let me know what you, what you would do if you consider it. All right, so I'm gonna list out the pricing of everything in the description box. So it's full transparency for how much this costs. It's not a cheap item, it is, it is quite pricey, but I'm hoping that for what it does, it um, really is worth the money. It, so far, it seems like it will be from what I can hear from people. That's it. I'm done. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this one. It's a bit different to usual. Um, but yeah, can't wait to see how it goes. Okay. Thanks so much, everyone. And I'll see you all super, super soon. Bye.